multiple suspensions, brawls, fines, and ejections, Jonathan Papelbaum was one of the most dominant, furious, and hated relievers during his career before he disappeared from the game of baseball. But what happened to Jonathan Papelbaum? We will answer that in today's video. Papelbaum was drafted in the fourth round in the 2003 draft by the Boston Red Sox out of Mississippi State and was used as a starting pitcher in his minor league career before getting caught up in 2005. He even made three starts in his rookie season, but he was mainly used out of the bullpen and went 3-1 with a 2.65 ERA in 34 innings. The following season, the Red Sox normal closer got hurt and the team named Papelbaum the closer. And well, he did not disappoint. Papelbon recorded 10 saves in the month of April, which set a rookie record. He also ended up closing 35 games that year, posted a 0.92 ERA, and was named to an All-Star game, and finished second in the Rookie of the Year voting. Papelbon continued his dominance in the 2007 regular season, but was even better come October. In 10 and the two-thirds innings, Papelbon allowed no runs and converted four saves, three of which came in the World Series and helped lead Boston to its second championship in four years. In 2008 and 2009, Papelbon was named to his third and fourth consecutive All-Star Games and became arguably the best closer in baseball. Just kidding, you know, there was this guy named Mariano Rivera and he was pretty good. Nonetheless, Papelbon set multiple records in 2008 as he received the largest contract for a closer, not eligible for arbitration, recorded his 100th save, and set the record for lowest whip in minimum 200 innings in baseball history. He also set a career high with 41 saves. April 2009 was the start of Jonathan Papelbon's career, where whatever he was thinking, he said. In August of 2008, the Red Sox traded slugger Manny Ramirez to the Dodgers, and in the following April, Papelbon told ESPN Ramirez was a cancer, and added, it just takes one guy to bring an entire team down, and that's exactly what was happening. Once we saw that, we weren't afraid to get rid of him. It's like cancer. That's what he was. Cancer. He had to go in. It stunk, but that was the only scenario that was going to work. That was it for us. Despite controversy off the field, Papelbon remained elite on the field, and during the 2009 season, Papelbon broke the Red Sox all-time save record when he recorded his 133rd save. Papelbon was named to his fourth consecutive All-Star game, and it was his second season in the last three years where he posted a sub-2 ERA. That same success in the regular season wasn't there in the postseason, as Papelbon allowed four runs in two innings and blew a save in the ALDS, which was the final playoff appearance of his career. His struggles in the 2009 postseason must have carried over to 2010, as 2010 was his worst season yet, as Papelbon posted a 3.90 ERA, blew 8 saves, and trade rumors began circulating. That year, he also allowed his first career walk-off home run. Pretty crazy considering all the save opportunities he's had. 2011 would be the final year for Papelbon in Boston, and it was an interesting one. On June 7, 2011, Papelbon recorded his 200th career save against the New York Yankees, achieving the mark in the fewest appearances in baseball history. Papelbon was lights out all year, converting 31 out of 34 save opportunities, but his three blown saves all came in September, including the infamous final game of the 2011 regular season against the Orioles. In the 2011 offseason, Papelbon signed a four-year deal worth $50 million with the Philadelphia Phillies and enjoyed a nice year in his first season with the club. He led the NL in saves with 38, posted a 2.44 ERA over 70 innings, and struck out 92 hitters. 2013 was another solid season for Papelbon in Philadelphia as he went 5-1 with a 2.94 ERA but only saved 29 games as the Phillies only won 73 that year. After the season, Papelbon said to the media that he could not remember the last time he played for a losing team. On June 10, 2014, Papelbon earned his 300th career save and became only the 27th MLB player to accomplish the feat. The biggest storyline that year occurred in September when Papelbon blew a save against the Mets and proceeded to do this to the crowd and then had words with umpire Joe West who ejected him and because of his actions was suspended seven games. Character concerns continued to be an issue in 2015 despite being an effective closer as in early April Papelbon got into an argument with commentator Howard Eskin and the two needed to be separated and restrained. Just less than a month later, Papelbon became the all-time Phillies save leader when he recorded his 113th save with the club. Nearing the 2015 trade deadline, Papelbon was unhappy with Philly and the team ended up trading him to the Nationals for Nick Pavetta. In its two months there, Papelbon was newsworthy and for all the wrong reasons. On September 23rd, he was suspended three games and fined after throwing at the head of Manny Machado. Four days later, Papelbon started an argument with Bryce Harper after he didn't like his hustle, grabbed Harper by the throat, and shoved him to the bench. 
The fight did not sit well with fans, who offered to pay thousands of dollars to Nats charities if he was off the team. The Nats did suspend Papabon for the remainder of 2015, but he remained with the club in 2016 in what would be his final season. Papabon was the primary closer to start the year, but he went down with an injury in June and was placed on the IL for the first time in his career. During that time, the Nats acquired Mark Melanson to take over the closer's role, and when Papabon came back, he was unhappy not being the closer and requested and was granted his release. August 13th was Papabon's last day in the big leagues, and it marked the end of a really good career. Papabon is only one of five pitchers in baseball history with 300 saves and a sub 2.5 out ERA. He's also the all-time save leader for the Phillies and Red Sox. Since that day, Papabon has been MIA. He never signed with the team following his release, nor that offseason. He never even announced his retirement. He simply just walked away. It's sad to see his career end the way it did, as for a long stretch of time, he was a top closer in baseball. Evidently, it wasn't his talent that forced him out of the league, but character and locker room concerns. Up the video, everyone. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, and if you haven't already, to hit that subscribe button. Our socials are linked down in our bio. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and I'll catch you on the next video.